you can't just expect to kind of like wait around for these things to come. I want to be real with you right now. 100%. In a couple months, I'm not going to be driving this car. Not at all. A couple months, I will not be living. <laughs> if I'm spinning, let me know in the comments, but it would be too late. I will not be living where I am. I have finally figured out the key to all this stuff. Like, all this, like, like dirt right here. Like, I don't know. For example, like, I'm not even keeping my car that clean because, like, I'm just, re like, I've already shifted into this, like, other, like, sort of reality or whatever. I'm only going to say this one time throughout this video just in case there's new people watching me. But whatever I say in this video is not to be cocky or arrogant or to show off or whatever, whatever. This is just being real. Like, I know for a fact that there's no choice but for this whole entrepreneurship stuff to work out for me. Recently, I decided that I'm gonna start posting more entrepreneurship related videos because I really want to um, just share this wisdom with you guys. You know, I write and stuff about this online, but I don't really like talk about it that much, but I'm gonna start on YouTube like through video. So this is the key to entrepreneurship. It's about how much you believe in yourself. That's it. I'm telling you, like, that's really just it. It's about how much you can tell yourself, no, I got this. No, I got this. No, I got this. A million times over and over and over again until you learn that skill, build that audience, sell something, create a product or service, excuse me, create a product or service, network with people. Like, throughout all of that, if you feel somehow discouraged, the only thing that you need to forget your feelings. The only thing that you need to do is tell yourself, I got this and keep doing it. Because even if you don't believe in yourself in that very moment that you're brainstorming content to build an audience to eventually offer a product or service to, or in that moment that you're building a copywriting portfolio, for example, which I talk about in my blog. So follow my blog, subscribe to it down below. In those moments that you're actually doing these things for entrepreneurship, even if you don't believe in yourself in that moment, I promise you, the more you tell yourself, I got this, I got this, I got this, and the more you keep creating at the same time, even if you're confused, even if you don't know what the heck you're talking about in that blog post or whatever that you're writing, the more that you do that every single day that you show up is a step forward. You know what I'm trying to say? So why do I say that self-worth is what entrepreneurship is? Entre entrepreneurship and how successful you are in that is self-worth. Because think about it. Why do people quit so much? Like, why do people tell themselves like, oh, I'm not gonna keep doing this because it doesn't work or it's a scam or something. It's not a scam. It's literally just that you aren't allowing yourself to see all this like abundance and stuff like that online. And whether or not you wanna build a brick and mortar business or a business online, you have to be willing to tell yourself that you can do it either way. It doesn't matter if it's online or not. But online, people quit a lot, especially now because people are like, oh, I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna start a business that's like only brick and mortar because online stuff doesn't work. That stuff is, is fake, it's all a scam, it's all pyramid schemes. Number one, like that just means that you have not developed as much like knowledge about the skill or whatever that you're trying to create. You haven't really allowed yourself to be this person that can research things and that can become just kind of more knowledgeable and just build skills and all this stuff. Like, that's just what I'm trying to say here. It's like, you have to be willing to kind of let yourself experience the goodness that comes with entrepreneurship and the good stuff that comes with it. You know, like, you have to believe in yourself enough to be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna try. Self-worth is what's gonna get you there because through self-worth, is how you're gonna open up your laptop and even try in the first place. Through self-worth is exactly how you're going to tell yourself, oh, let me network with people because I do, as a human, just as a human being, even if you're not a, a five-figure or six-figure or whatever multi-millionaire entrepreneur yet, as a human being, you have something valuable to say just because you exist. That's the thing here, like, it's like, how much can you truly sit here, sit there and believe in yourself to be like, no, I can create something online. Or, or whatever, like in person, whatever. 
but I can just create some, but I talk to people like just mainly about like online business, so that's why I keep saying online. But how much can I believe in myself to create something that works? How much can I keep saying I got this to myself and actually just putting in the work until I feel it well enough within me so that now when I wake up every day, it's just natural. Like those feelings of wanting to wake up and create and create for an audience and create for clients and build up an audience. Like that's going to become natural. Like how much can I do that? And that's just really all based on self-worth. And how do you do self-worth? I got this, I got this, I got this. I just keep like honestly just building up like just the momentum with creating and stuff like that. I know that it might seem like gibberish or whatever to say, but this is the underlying thing with business. It's like you have to be willing to kind of just believe in the fact that like you actually can create something for a client and deliver it really well, create the landing page, the sales page and all this stuff in a way that really works for the client. Like you can't just even sit here and just be like, oh, I'm just going to create content and expect that to kind of blow up or something because it's not going to blow up. You need to be willing to be strategic about it. And sometimes people are afraid of that because, for example, okay, that's, a, that's another topic, but I want to talk about how like the spiritual community and stuff like that plays into this, especially if you've been listening to uh, spiritual manifestation advice and everything like that, which is so like random, but um, you know, if that, if, that, if that was you and stuff like that before and like now you want to do entrepreneurship and like, now you're like back in the real world, I'm not saying all that stuff is fake, obviously not, you can manifest things, but you got to put in the work. But... You know, all this stuff though, like I was going to say, all this stuff with, I'll get to that soon, but all this stuff with like saying like, oh, it should be easy and stuff like, well, I guess it's, it does relate to it. All this stuff with saying, oh, it should be easy to create an online business. It should be easy to create something that is, you know, going to bring you in money and all this stuff. Like, you guys, sometimes it's not going to be easy. Like, sometimes it's not going to be easy mentally. It's not going to be easy because you don't see the results which can affect you mentally because you're like, oh, I suck. Or like, I have like a bagel stuck in my throat, so like my voice is kind of different in this video. But, you can't just expect to kind of like, wait around for these things to come. And that's what I used to do. Now let me get deeper into it. When I was like in the spiritual community and stuff like that, and I was like posting a lot of like spiritual community advice and everything and like manifestation, it's how you manifest things. All that stuff is very real. Like, you know, like you can manifest things, you can attract energy to you, but it's not just that. It's not just that. You can definitely, for example, manifest a call or something, but let me use this other example. You can manifest someone landing into your inbox and saying, hey, I like your content, let me pay you for this or whatever. But you're missing out on other things that God wants you to meet him halfway with that have even more abundance, that truly reflect how you really feel about yourself, that you deserve this abundance. It took me a long time to get here to say to myself, I am willing to start a business, I can start a business, and I deserve to have the lifestyle that I want and that I desire. Because that's not a bad thing to say. It's not a bad thing to say, I want to start a business. It's, why is that a bad thing? You know what you're saying when you say, I want to start a business? You're saying that you want to help other people, add value to people's lives. Like, that's just like a doctor. I want to be a doctor. I want to save lives. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, you can, for example, I, w I was going to go to med school and stuff like that, but like, you know, I realize that entrepreneurship is just for me, so that's why I can like use these two analogies and everything like that, but not the point. Point is, you can save someone's life literally just by creating, I don't know, some, some copywriting skills for their business, right? And their business does very well, and if they were in financial crisis, now their business, as a result of your copy services being given to them, now their business is doing really well, and they're no longer bankrupt, so in the most extreme case possible, and I'm sorry if this triggers anyone. Now they're not gonna be like suicidal or something. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like in the most extreme case, like that's an example of how you save someone with the services and skills that you offer. I'm not just talking on my butt. I'm literally just being honest right now. Like you, if you really want to create something online, you wanna be of value to others, you wanna actually build those skills and services and everything like that, that's something totally doable. Like you really can do that. It's just like how much again, like you can believe in yourself, like how much self-worth you are you're able to generate on a daily basis. Like that's really just what it's about, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm literally telling you. But let me know if you if you agree or anything. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. 
and perfect outro. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always supporting me and watching my videos. I hope that you are deriving some sort of value from this. Ciao. I just realized I went to the wrong store. To drop off this package.